Hey there, it's time to make a video. I wanna show you guys this right here. These are the new lithium iron phosphate uh, 24 volt modules that we have on the website. We got a bunch of these and uh, yeah, I haven't promoted them too much because well, there's not too many of them and they're gonna sell out pretty quickly. So I figure I let those people that are on the website uh find them and stuff but i guess i wanted to make a video because a lot of people had questions like um they they're asking if these being lithium iron phosphate could be set up as 12 volt now i'm like no these are ready to go these are ready to go for people who want 24 or 48 volt setups right they're like literally why would you want to do it the hard way but i guess I'm selling them really cheap, about $100 a kilowatt hour. So I guess they're attractive and you're like, I'll, you know, peep, a lot of people are like, I'll do the work. I'll do extra work to figure out how to use it for my thing. And I guess some people are still stuck with the 12 volt thing. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to do that now. Here's uh, one that was flooded and uh, these modules are, are still good. They have voltage, but the uh there's a corrosion here so i won't be able to obviously sell them right that way uh, i'll probably give this one away or something someone that wants to salvage but the other one uh or one of these ones is a good candidate to take it apart right and see how hard it is to take apart and if you could modify it so you can make it 12 volts like let's go upstairs and the bench and then we'll check it there and here we go here we are upstairs and look at that this is a four kilowatt i have four of those modules right this could this could be set up as 24 or 48 or you could put them all in series and make whatever uh four times 24 whatever that is uh, uh 96 volt i guess um uh, compared to my other traditional you know using the 18650s right this is 20 kilowatt hours versus four kilowatt hours so in order to have this you would have to have five of those and we'll show you what the, the size comparison these are quite bigger they're heavier right but the advantage is that these are safer and they last like four or five times more than these cells these you can get about a thousand cycles on these guys so right if you were to cycle it like hard every day this is 20 kilowatt hours here so it would be hard to cycle it every day i guess if you were off grid and you wanted to have completely run a full house yeah you would be able to you, you would cycle this right but i wouldn't recommend that i would recommend you getting a bigger battery so you cycle it every two days uh, or three days so that you have some reserve there for a rainy day and also and this will last you more than 10 years right so but on these ones, about 5,000, 4,000 to 6,000 cycles on this chemistry here. So that is one of the benefits of lithium iron phosphate. And the problem has been traditionally this really, really expensive, uh, right? It's not until now that we're starting to get some. These, I got my hands on these and I am able to sell them at $100 a kilowatt hour and still make some money. So good times. So let's take this one apart here so here we go as it turns out this thing is in the front and unfortunately you can remove it the cover here without uh, breaking these little tabs these are the tabs that attach uh one two three four five six seven wait seven no i guess it's more seven eight nine it should be nine because these are eight cells this is an 8s module Lithium iron phosphate is lower voltage, so in order to have uh, 24 volts, you need 8S instead of 7S. So, yeah, you break them up, but this is just a board. There's not much uh, happening here. Um, I don't know what's all of these little things, but anyways, get to the real part. This just comes right off. There's got some little clips, and then you can remove them. Come on, man make me look bad there we go right and then you get to see the tabs there look at that right uh is it 14 yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 
14 cells and check it out these have the bus bars there right all right and then the bus bars are attached to one well that big that big piece there the bus bar and then it's got screws right and these ones are all um they're rusted because of the the flood right but here you can see good ones so if you i guess taking this uh, module apart is not that hard right it took me a couple minutes to do it um now what would you need to do to change it up to 12 volts right so what you would need to do is you would have to split in half all right this is one uh group uh, right cell group two three four right and right here right in the middle you would have to cut this uh well this this tab here this thing here oh that's crazy look at that it's right where one of the cells would go you see that that's where these screws go huh? that's pretty cool you could add in theory you could add another cell there yeah yeah but no why would you want to do that because then you would be no you couldn't do that so anyways you would have to cut this thing here in the middle right and then that way you would make one for s and then two for s so you'd have two separate packs that are for s but then what you could do is then parallel them so what you have to do is once these are separated then this would be the positive the negative and you would connect the negative to the negative and then um, this is a positive and then you would connect the positive to this positive and then uh yeah then you would have a 4s uh what's 14p that's 28p right 4s 28p uh module here and it would be the same it would be one kilowatt hour just a little bit over one kilowatt hour like 1.1 and uh yeah it would be capable of quite a bit of power um yeah it is possible to do it i'm just like why just get a 4s or get one of those other bricks or whatever. but i guess you know it's it's very attractive because it's a hundred dollars a kilowatt hour right so you pay 119 dollars i think that's that i have these uh there's nowhere there's not a lot of places where you can find uh, uh one kilowatt hours worth of uh lithium or phosphate that is in good condition these all had bad bmss and so that was the reason why we got them and they all have up under a hundred uh cycles on these right and they had a little sticker and it would say there uh other than this one that had been on a flood right this this one probably had a good bms but because it was in a flood um then they took it off the wall and that's why they sent it to the recycler and then i got it from you know it made it its way to me but uh there we go so it would be easy to do you would just have to cut this very carefully and not short out any of this stuff and then uh, that's how you would make this 24 module into a 12 volt module and then that way you could put it in your car or whatever then you know that's probably what you would want to like an rv or something and you would do that to a few of these uh, modules. Now, what can, could you use this in an RV without changing it to 12 volts? You could definitely do it. You could uh, leave it as 24 and then use other things to change it to 12, right? Let me show you here. All right, let me show you these. They make these, these are DC to DC and they make these in all kinds of sizes and all kinds of voltages, but one some that are very very popular are these 24 volt input so you would connect this here into the input and then out of it comes out 12 volts this one is 40 amp rated but you can get some that are up to 100 200 amps right they start getting big and heavy but these things are pretty beefy and uh they're very simple they're designed without you know active cooling is just you know this big giant heat sink and stuff and you i guess you could have this both ways you could have going into the battery and then going out right so you could step up and then you can step down those are very popular then you could also get some other stuff like this right this is a booster 
so you whatever you can put whatever 12 volts in here and then 24 come out of here and then you would use this to charge it in fact this is a really this is an actual charger it's got you can set uh the current and then you can set the 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 voltage maximum that where you want it to stop right and so yeah this is like the part uh you know half the part of, the, of a charger and i've used this quite a bit to charge batteries because it's like that and then this would be a step down right so this also now you take the 24 volts from here and then you spit out uh 12 volts and I, what is this rated i don't remember what is rated but i think these are rated around the same time this, this is like 1200 watts and i think this is 1200 watts and this would be a way for you know these are kind of set there's not no parameters that you can set here right it just runs it just does this thing they're kind of robust but if you wanted more flexibility then this will allow you to do that and this will allow you to check uh at least on this one it, it has a screen and it lets you know and it actually has a measuring thing so that it could protect itself and all the other stuff, right? I haven't quite played too much with this one yet, so I will make some videos in the future about this thing. I have made a bunch of videos about this one. You can you see them on my channel. But there's there's ways that you can leave this as 24 and still use it on a 12 volt system, right? Uh, you could also just break it down and then make it a 12. You have choices. And sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. <laughs> but it depends who you are, right? So. So there you go. These are the, you know, 24 volt modules, one kilowatt hour. They're on the website, Jack 35, and uh, you can buy them. If you are interested, you should probably move on them because they're going to sell very quickly. And I only have a few pallets of these. So there's only a few hundred. Uh, they're definitely not going to last, right? So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm, I'm working really hard. I'm trying to get done with this shop here so that I can get back at making videos, but it's taken me quite a while, right? And so if you're a subscriber, a long time subscriber, I wanna thank you for sticking with me in this kind of hiatus that I have here on in this year, right? But uh, we will be back. We will make cool videos and uh, yeah. And, and uh, if you're around to see them, well, thank you for that, right? See you guys in the next one. Bye.